So we have a, a beautiful patient today who is coming for 360 liposuction. She has a little bit of a stubborn fat in the upper lower stomach. And usually the most deposits that I see in males and as well as in females is a kind of lower back flanks waist area. And that's what gives you the biggest gain in terms of the better shape of the waistline. And the patient wants to address her little hip dips. It's a little bit deeper on the left side, I think. So we're gonna fill them up uh, with the fat that we're gonna take out from the uh, upper and lower stomach. So we're gonna just mark her. We're gonna make a little pokes. We're usually in the bikini line, so it stay pretty, pretty low, and one in the belly button. So this is what's called uh, uh, liposuction 360. So we're gonna go all around, all around. And, uh, my plan is to suction this uh, lower back and uh, the area in front of the tailbone right in here to improve that transition between the lower back and the uh, buttocks so the buttocks are more defined so if we're going to car carve out the buttocks from the lower back we do a ultra safe uh, this is not a full bbl but uh, mostly like a country touching up there but we do it ultra safe we use an ultrasound so we're gonna place the fat with under direct visualization with the ultrasound to stay above the muscle. So she's already on the table, we clean her up. She climbed on the table herself because she's awake. She's using a little laughing gas just to help her with a little bit of anxiousness about the procedure. It also gives you analgesia if necessary. But most of the time we, we, we use it just for to so the patient is calm and they like to take, uh, to take the mind off what's going on. And we're going to cover her up so she's laying on a sterile absorbent pad. How are you doing there, Erika? Oh, I'm fine. She's fine. She's like, nothing is going on yet, right? No, so. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, because you're so quiet there on the other side of the curtain, I want to make sure you're doing okay. I can. I'm in the most relaxed state I could be. <laughs> gotcha, okay. What are you feeling? Mm, just a little pressure and that, like I said, a little pinch, but nothing too bad or Not. uncomfortable. Good. Usually that uh, laughing gas and nitrous gas, it's a mixture of the nitrous oxide with oxygen so the patient can self-regulate and breathe it while they're going through the procedure. Again, it helps with any discomfort and helps uh, to take your mind away, basically makes you a little high. And we try to uh, measure and kind of remember how much we put on each side in which area, so it stays all symmetrical. So we try to make it nice and perfectly even. So I measure usually each area. So like upper stomach that much, right side, left side that much. So this way we can keep track. And we also, before any procedure, we calculate the maximum dose of local anesthetic for the patient. What do you feel? Um, just a little vibration and, I mean, sometimes there'll be a little pinch, but it's nothing. It's literally nothing. I feel fine. Good. Are you comfortable? I'm very comfortable. The next step is going to be to actually the suction part. So I use this uh, power assisted suction machine and, uh, and so it's a flared Mercedes cannula so it's flared and helps us to extract fat more efficiently. This handpiece oscillates, vibrates 6,000 times a minute very fast so it helps us to extract fat more efficiently so instead of doing old fashioned and just relying on your strength you, you're using it's like electric toothbrush it's the next step up. So here is. So we're using a closed loop system for fat transfer. So the fat goes from the patient into the canister and then from the canister into the patient. So it never, never sees outside world. So we use this uh, uh, Medella pump as a suction machine. And it's actually made by the same company that makes uh, suction machines for to pump milk. So. We are done with the patient's front stomach and you can see it's pretty thin up here. Lower back and waist, you can see here 
It's much better transition. You can definitely see that our glass, the hips are popping out because this is sucked in. We're doing the same thing on the other side now. Again, that's one of the precautions to avoid injury to the muscle. So there's a skin, there's fat, and there's a muscle underneath. We want to stay out of the muscle. The, the waist is already cinched quite a bit. That makes those buttocks pop. And then we suction this. It's still a little swollen, but uh, it's going to be nice and smooth. And So now I'll be able to show you. This is where our cannula is. You can see it's a, I'm holding the ultrasound perpendicular to the, uh, so you can see that white vibrating dot right there. Erica, tell us what do you feel? We're doing the... I feel great. It's amazing. I'm relaxed. It doesn't hurt. I'm just so excited. It is exactly what I wanted. Everyone's been so great and I love it. It's such an easy procedure. <laughs>